given let us discuss hausdorff property this property says if you have a matrix space xd and if you have two points x and y these are distinct points okay these are not equal then there exist disjoint open sets u and v such that x belongs to u and y belongs to v that means if two points are distinct then you can find two open sets u and v such that x belongs to u y belongs to v and these two sets are disjoint that means nothing is common there let us prove this thing okay we will start with a given information xd is a matrix space x and y belongs to x these two points are distinct so that's why we can write x is not equal to y we have a different different points see these points are distinct so definitely there is some non zero distance between them getting there is some distance between them non zero so therefore i can clearly mention therefore d of xy is greater than zero distance between x and y is greater than zero what will i do i will divide this distance in three equal parts okay let me show it here so here we have x here we have y whatever the distance i am going to divide it in three equal parts and for every part i am calling it as r so this is r this one is r and this one is also r so let me mention let r is equal to d of xy divided by 3 obviously it is greater than 0 okay so now we are in search of two open sets u and v such that x belongs to u and y belongs to v so now we are going to define our u and v let me write let i am defining u in this way u is equal to b x r that means open ball with center x radius r let me show it here so this is radius r we have right r so we are having a ball okay open ball with center x and radius r that means we will have open ball like this getting so this is our set u let me write it here this is our set u similarly i am defining v is open ball with center y radius r that means uh, i am defining v open ball getting open ball with center x sorry center y and radius r so this is our v so we have two sets u and v see clearly x belongs to u since u is an open ball no with center x so x center always lies in a ball so therefore we can say x belongs to u so let me mention clearly clearly x belongs to u since x is a center of this open ball get it and u is open ball so that's why x belongs to u and similarly we can write y belongs to v since y is the center of this open ball and every ball contains its center so that's why we could write it okay so in this way we have proved this part okay we have proved this part x belongs to u and y belongs to v so we know that every open ball is an open set we have already proved getting in our previous video so that result we can directly use here let me mention here we know that we know that every oh sorry we should write here we know that every open ball every open ball is an open set so we know that every open ball is an open set so therefore u is an open ball so it's an open set v is also an open ball so v is also an open set so therefore we can mention therefore u and v are open sets okay so actually u and v are open balls no we have defined so therefore these are open sets so this thing we have proved so open sets u and v so this thing we have proved so now what we have to prove simply we have to prove that these are disjoint this thing we have to prove then the proof will be over so let me mention now to prove that now now to prove that to prove that u and v are disjoint that means u intersection v is equal to phi this thing we have to prove u and v are disjoint see in this diagram you can easily see u and d we are disjoint both are intersection is non empty getting okay? so we can easily see but this thing we have to prove so how to prove this one we will assume exactly opposite to that we are going to assume let it possible u and v are not disjoint this thing i am going to assume so let me mention let if possible i am assuming let if possible u intersection v is not equal to phi see i am assuming there is some common they are not disjoint there is some common so definitely we can find some point which lies in intersection therefore p belongs to 
u intersection v say we are that means we definitely we can find some point with lies in intersection since intersection is non empty see p belongs to u intersection v that means p is in u as well as p is in v let me write here so implies p is in u and p is in v since p lies in intersection but what is our u u is nothing but open ball so we can write p belongs to bxr open ball bxr and p belongs to v means what byr byr getting simply i wrote the definition of u and definition of v here see p lies in this ball p lies in a ball that means distance of p from center of ball is less than its radius so therefore we can write distance of p from uh, center of ball is less than its radius similarly p lies in that ball also so that's why distance of p from center of ball y is less than r so therefore i can write distance of p from y that is also less than r let us add them let us see what will happen so if you add what will you have d of xp plus d of yp i am adding okay so uh, we added left hand side similarly we can add right hand side also r plus r 2r okay but but by triangle inequality you remember triangle inequality so i uh, this is a fourth property of matrix rating so i am using triangle inequality but by triangle inequality d of xy less than or equal to d of xy less than or equal to d of xp plus d of py so i use these three points x y and p so d of xy less than or equal to d of xp plus d of py right so d of xp plus d of py or yp uh, yp what we have got see this is py here also you can write py no doubt hmm. see what we have got so this is less than 2r so we can mention this is less than 2r so what we get d of d of xy is less than 2r this thing we have d of xy is less than 2r but what is value of d of xy see r is equal to d of xy upon 3 if you shift it if you shift this 3 here then you will have d of xy is equal to 3r so therefore we can write 3r less than 2r since value of d of xy is 3r but is it possible 3r is less than 2r it's not possible since r is positive real number so it's not possible that 3r is less than 2r so it is not possible okay it is not possible so it is not possible we are getting contradiction here because our assumption is wrong what is our assumption u intersection v is not equal to phi that thing we have assumed that is wrong getting that is wrong so therefore u intersection v must be phi that means we can say u intersection v is phi that means u and v are disjoint so all things we proved these two sets are disjoint both are open u and v such that x belongs to u and y belongs to v so therefore we can conclude this proof okay so make a screenshot of it after that i will write last two sentences so i clearly mentioned here therefore we get contradiction and our assumption is wrong getting therefore assumption is wrong therefore u intersection v must be phi therefore u and v are disjoint sets so that means we have proved all these things okay so let me write so there hence the result we can mention hence the result yes we proved in this way okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye